Nestled into the hills in the central western slopes of New South Wales is the historic town of Karkor. The town is one of the few townships in Australia classified by the National Trust. It is situated just off the Midwestern Highway, 258 kilometres west of Sydney and 52 kilometres southwest of Bathurst, and is 720 metres above sea level. It is located in a small green valley with the township and buildings on both banks of the Bellabula River. Karkor was once one of the most important government centres in western New South Wales. The town has been classified by the National Trust owing to the number of intact 19th century buildings. Karkor is a word of the Aboriginal Gundungurra tribe meaning either frog or kookaburra. Up the hill is St Paul's Anglican Church, a small Gothic revival structure designed by Edmund Blackett. It was built of brick and sandstone with a slate roof between 1845 and 1848, making it the second oldest church west of the Blue Mountains. The unusual crossing tower and steeple date from 1874. The interior is essentially in original condition, including the brick sanctuary floor, the sandstone font, and the family pew of the original European settlers, the Isleys. Thomas Isley paid for the church. My first visit to this church was in the spring of 1980 when I was 22 years old. I was the accompanist for the St Gregory Chorale, a Sydney-based choir. No sooner had I started to accompany Bach's Jesus Joy of Man's Desiring than I felt a rush of air come from the lower left part of the organ case. The organ bellows had given way, the result of rodents having feasted on the lever. The show had to go on and the choir obliged by presenting an unaccompanied program while I sat by helplessly. Needless to say, my deflating experience became a topic of benign humour among the members of the choir. Fortunately, this organ, built in 1899, was eventually fully restored in 2001 and you can hear how it sounds in the accompanying video.